Hey, this is Jason from Denworks. I got something really special, and it's not Stanley. And uh, he thinks I'm gonna give him a little treat. But uh, what we have here is a 1999 Mazda Miata. It's a 10th anniversary edition. And these are uh, pretty neat little rigs. Mi Miatas have become really, really popular, as you know. A lot of people use them in uh, racing and, and different things, uh, you know, track events and, and things. But they kind of become a car of their own. and. Um, but this one here is pretty special. It's a uh, 1999. It's a 10th anniversary edition, and they made all of them sapphire blue, with the blue top, with the black and and blue leather interior. They had their own special wheels and uh, Nardi steering wheel and Nardi uh, shifter. And one of the uh, special things about this is this is the first year also of the uh, six-speed transmission, and I believe that they all had. Um, the six speed. Uh, I know the 10th anniversary did, but I think that's the only model that, that actually got the six speed transmission. So that's pretty cool. And it has the uh, sport uh, suspension on it as well with uh, Bilstein shocks with overriders all the way around. So it's actually a, a pretty good car. It's not just a, a pretty package. It's, it's a little performance car and which makes it kind of cool and uh, special wheels. And it's got uh, disc brakes all the way around. It's also got the special uh, uh, rocker moldings across the bottom there and uh, aero kit up there on the front, uh, the spoiler. So we'll just walk around it. The car's a really nice car. It's not perfect, but uh, pretty nice. And so we'll just walk here across the front. You know, it has been driven. It's only got 72,000 miles on it. And you'll notice little um, things about it. We'll show you the lights and interior later, but you know, you'll see some little chipping and stuff. A little bit of spider webbing up here on the nose. You know, it is a 1999, so it's about 18 uh, years old now. The spoiler up here is held on by double stick tape, and it's starting to come loose a little bit. You can see that right there. So it actually needs to come back off and uh, put new tape. Then you can see it right here. It's just coming off a little bit, but uh, you can see a scratch right there and some... Uh, a little spider webbing there. The headlights and everything look good. Out in the sunlight, you'll notice little tiny, the little tiny rock chips on the hood, pretty common. And, uh, but they've been touched up underneath light, um, you know, in a garage and stuff, you might see them a little bit more. It's very hard to photo them. So that's especially why the, the video is important as well. And uh, to see, you can see a little chip there, but there's a, quite a few on the hood that have been touched up. There's a little rock chip here that's um, in the windshield. The rest of it looks uh, pretty nice, but it, it's been repaired. We'll go ahead and look down the side. You can see one little tiny indention right there on the uh, fender. I think that uh, probably a little ding guy could actually get that out and make it look nice. The tires probably only have about 2,000 miles on them. They're in great shape. And uh, the recommended size are 195, 50, 15. Um, we'll look down the side here. You can see a little tiny, little scuff mark right there where it's been touched up. You can look here at the door. Looks pretty nice. A little tiny ding right there. Quarter panel looks in in good shape. Again, you'll see a little, couple little scratches that are there that have been touched up. It actually has a, there's another little scratch right there. It has a brand new top on it and it's the correct blue top that these came with and uh, it's in good shape and it was just put on. It's had a lot of service work uh, too in the last few years. So um, actually in 2010 it had a water pump and timing belt and all that, but that's about 4,000 miles ago. We'll go ahead and uh, flip it around so you can get a, 
another look at her. Okay, here we are. We're going to take a look at the driver's side. Just wanted to flip her around here. We'll just start here in the back and uh, look around. The back's really nice, uh, really nice condition. Hey, go ahead and rev it up while we're here. You know, sounds good, doesn't blow smoke or anything. And uh, we'll just walk around it a little bit and uh, back of the trunk lid and, and everything looks good. You can see here, no rust or anything like that. We got a little bit of dust on it because we've been driving it around. But um, this quarter panel, I believe, has been repainted. I don't know uh, when or why, but I just noticed just a little tiny tape line around this edge and right here. And uh, it doesn't continue on here, but that's the only reason I, I realized it. I was just kind of looking at it. If I hadn't noticed that, I wouldn't have thought it had been repainted. And, and I don't know why. It's got a clean Carfax and stuff. So maybe it got scratched or, or something. I took the inside of the, the trunk area out and, and it looked good. So um, I just wanted to make you aware of that. Look here across the bottom of the rocker. Again, we've been out driving it. Got a little dust on it. You can see here, some a little crack right there on the uh, mirror and uh, some little touch up. Right here on the uh, um, door, looks like two little scratches and a little touch up there. This is a uh, 10th anniversary. Sorry for that dust, but this is a uh, 3175 out of 7500. Actually, 7500 were across the uh, um, across the world, but I believe only 3,000 or 3,500 uh, came to the U.S. So, but this is uh, number 3175, and uh, so um, that's out of all production of these cars. So, anyways, pretty cool little car. Here you can see the the uh, tires. You know, actually in really really good condition and uh, no wear or anything. You can just see basically little knobbies just started wearing off. They've got about 2,000 miles on them. And uh, we'll go ahead and look at the top on this side. You know, again, nice condition, glass in the back. And uh, I'm pretty sure they all had that, but I'm thinking of the days back when Mustangs and, and different things. So anyways, uh, we'll show you some more stuff. I want to go ahead and show you all the lights are working. I know it's a newer car, but I just want to show you that they do work. And we'll go ahead and turn the headlights on. Or that's a turn or a marker lights and headlights. Then bright lights. We got turn signals. That's the left. There's the right. And then the fog lamps down below. Yeah, everything there is working. Uh, I'll show you the back. Go ahead and show you the rear lights. We got uh, tail lights. We got brake lights. All three of them working. And then uh, we'll go ahead and show you blinkers. We got left and we got right. And then we also have the uh, license plate light is working. And we'll go ahead and show you the reverse lights. Go ahead, you got it in reverse? Wiggle it just a little bit. Yeah, there we go. And uh, reverse lights are working. So everything's working and uh, so that's good. Here we go, I just wanted to show you how the top works. I know a lot of people know how this stuff works, but, but not everyone does. And uh, so right underneath here, and it's really easy, there's a little button and uh, you just push the little button and this flips down. I've got Sheldon helping me and it just uh, unlatches there and you just fold it back. and. Uh, and there you go. And then there's that little boot cover that goes on here and it goes very easy. And here's that little deflector that they put on here. And uh, that actually helps the, the wind a little bit. And uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, show you the interior and uh, show you some different components. Hey, here we are. We're gonna take a look at the uh, interior. Overall, it's uh, in really nice condition you know, for being an 18 year old car. Um, you can see here, it's got the, the wheel, it's a black and, and blue interior. It's got a special Nardi wheel and a gear shift. 
as well that match and uh, the seats are done in black and kind of a suede type leather in the on the interior you can see a little bit of tiny bit of staining there that might be able to be uh, cleaned and uh, but I don't know how to clean leather myself but uh, we'll go ahead and pop open the door take a look this was actually special too to these cars they uh, put a Miata uh, stainless scuff plate there and um, you can see a little bit of leather wear right here that's how actually you know you got real leather and uh, so there's a little bit of wear there the other seat is is actually really good and uh, but there's not any not any holes or anything it just starts to crack and uh, stuff so um, we'll go ahead and look across the dash no cracks or anything like that and uh, I don't know if all these cars uh, had it um, but this one here is equipped with uh, air conditioning. You can see it right here. We'll turn it on here in a minute so you can see it. And uh, you can look at the door, door panels. Again, in, they're in nice shape. It has a Bose uh, stereo system. You look inside the door jams. You know, very good. No signs of any accidents or anything like that. And uh, they look all nice and clean. I parked it in the shade here so we could see stuff a little better. And uh, I did notice right here... When I was walking around, I did show those little dings, but there's a ding right there that I didn't uh, notice. So we'll uh, hop around the other side and uh, we'll take another look on that side. So here I am on the uh, passenger side here. Go ahead and open the door. I've got the key in the uh, ignition there. And uh, so now it's making noise. We'll stop doing that. We'll go ahead and look at the dash. Look at the carpet. And uh, carpet's in good shape. A little bit of wear over there on the uh, driver's side and uh, if you had floor mats in there you wouldn't see it but same scuff plate over here and inside the jams looking nice nice condition we'll go ahead and look here in the jam on this side and uh, look at the roof pillar you know it looks looks good and uh, this here is a little wind deflector and uh, you can see here it's got a Bose uh, stereo system in it. And uh, back in uh, 99, you didn't see a lot of carbon fiber. You can see that carbon fiber uh, look right around there. So we'll go ahead and uh, show you some more stuff. Figure I'd go ahead and uh, show you it, it running and stuff like that, uh, odometer and all that. So go ahead and just put the key in. We actually been driving it, so I wanted you to see that the temperature gauge and all that works. You can see the oil pressure there in the middle it works the tack works of course i'm a car salesman and uh the gas is almost on e so i know a lot of people want to make, make a comment out on that how come the car salesman always have their that's almost out of gas well i'm admitting i didn't put any gas in it yet uh you can see the temp gauge works we got uh, 72 158 is the miles on it and uh you can see the radio You know it works it's got cd player here's the air conditioning and that works you can actually hear it whoops you can actually hear it click underneath the hood i don't know if you could hear that and uh but it does uh, work and it blows cold which is nice and uh, we'll look inside the glove box here also mentioned too that this is a non-smoker and uh, so no smoke smell you can see this light is working up there and uh, what else we got windshield wipers they work and it also has a uh, cruise control and uh, here's the fog lamps here now you have to have the headlights on for those to turn on and uh, there's the cruise uh, main switch but uh, anyways I was going to show you here too it's got power windows and they're a little bit they're a little bit slow not bad but they're a little bit well actually they're not not too bad that one's not bad but let's look at this one yeah a little little slow but actually i think they're they're not bad so um they all work so i just wanted to show you that and it also has uh power locks you can hear it click it worked over there on the other side so 
Um, anyways, I hope that helps you a little bit uh, to see uh, some of the stuff inside working and stuff like that. You can see it's got a passenger uh, airbag uh, shut off there. That cigarette lighter, I don't know if that's, it didn't stay in, but I just wanted to see if the power works. Um, yeah, it's hot, and uh, so I think that you can still put a, uh, a um, you know, USB port or something like that in there and use that. So, anyways, there we go. Okay, here we are. We're going to take a look underneath the hood. There's a little lever underneath the hood. We'll just uh, click it. I'll try to do this with one hand and... Uh, not easy to do actually especially when there's a little uh, prop rod here so I'll grab that put that up there and a uh, little prop rod clicks there and you just put it up there and uh, so anyways the uh, engine compartment looks really nice in this car and uh, so it's a 1.8 dual overhead uh, cam and uh, you know it's got a six-speed transmission in it you can see here something different right here that most Miatas don't have but these came, uh, the 10th anniversary came with the Sport Edition uh, handling suspension and stuff like that. So it's got a strut rod brace right here. And that actually handles, makes cars really stiff up in the front. And especially for cornering and stuff, here's a little adjustment as well. But, you know, overall, um, mechanically, this car is great. And I'll show you a video underneath and uh, show you in there, uh, showing you everything. Back in uh, 2010, it had the, uh, I think it was like 68,000 miles, car's got 72 on it now, but uh, it had a timing belt, water pump, valve cover gasket, uh, numerous things, about $1,400 uh, worth of work on it, and uh, had the intake gone through and stuff, and uh, so mechanically, you know, it's in, in great repair, and I'll show you underneath too, we, the brakes are good, and uh, you know, all the little boot, the boots and all that stuff, so, um, and it's got four-wheel disc brakes on it so we'll just look up here and uh, we'll start it here in a minute but I just want to show you there's no crinkles or anything up here on the inner aprons and, and stuff they actually look look in really good shape and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, start her up here now so you can hear it run it also uh, had a uh, new radiator put in it back in 2010 too and uh, so go ahead and uh, rev it up I think it actually sounds real good you know, things real peppy, and, uh, you know, the AC does work, so go ahead and click the AC. You can hear the AC pump uh, click on. There, you can hear it just click, and uh, so that's working. So overall, mechanically, the car's great. It does have a few little uh, cosmetic uh, things, you know, that I've shown in the video and stuff, and uh, not trying to beat my own car up or anything like that. I just want you to know what you're getting. But uh, it's a great car. This is the kind of car you can fly in and drive it home. And uh, I just have a lot of fun with it. You can look up here. I just wanted you to be able to see this. This is the uh, missions uh, certificate uh, identification thing there. So we'll put a uh, thing on the auction too so you can read it and stuff. But it, uh, it is intact there. So um, So anyways, uh, overall the, the engine's real good and um, you know, it just runs great. So we'll show you some other stuff. Hey, here we are. We're gonna take a quick look underneath the Miata. Um, you're still gonna see uh, still photos and everything of it uh, in the auction, but I just wanted to walk underneath it with a video and uh, it's just something we've been doing on some of the cars and uh, just kind of trying to take it to the next step a little bit, but it just gives you an opportunity to talk about different things that a photo maybe might not show. So we'll just uh, take a quick look here. You know, I know it's a uh, 1999 and it's 18 uh, years old. It's actually amazing it's 18 years old. And, uh, you know, these cars are actually really cool. And uh, when I was underneath here, I'm pretty impressed with the suspension and everything. But we'll go ahead and look at the front. You can see the, the tires got very good... Uh, tire wear on both sides you know actually they're in good shape and uh, we'll look here it's got four-wheel disc brakes you can see the shocks and everything uh, look in good shape and uh, 
We'll take a little peek here at the brakes. You can just see the calipers on the back side. See over here. And one of the main things I'm looking here at, at too is the uh, brake lines all look really good and uh, not any, any cracks. And uh, they look in nice shape. And um, I was looking at bushings. If we look here, the boot there looks in good shape. I don't see any cracks or anything. And uh, go over here to the other side. No cracks on this boot. And uh, everything looks in, uh, here I lost my little magnet. Uh, anyways, we'll uh, wrap around here to the back. Here's the transmission. I don't see any leakage or anything on it. That's a six speed transmission. I think that was the, as I mentioned earlier, I think it's the first year of the six speed in these. So that's pretty cool. And uh, I didn't actually realize that these cars had independent rear ends as well. So, I mean, a lot of, uh, a lot of goodies on these these cars that are that are factory. You can see here the frame rails look really nice, and the floors, you know, no rust at all. You can see the frame rails here look in good shape. Exhaust looks in pretty good shape too. There's the Cadillac converter, muffler, the uh, rear end feels good. U joints look good. You can see here these little boots, you know, no cracks or anything, so they're in nice shape. Get a light up there on that one. And uh, go down here and look at this boot. And that boot looks good here on the back wheel. One thing I did notice uh, on the, uh, actually it's got Bilstein. I didn't realize they put Bilstein on these, so that's cool. The uh, one thing I did notice here, this caliper here was leaking just a little bit and uh, it doesn't look major, but I'm gonna go ahead and change that anyways. Um, I probably didn't have to show you that on video, I was just gonna do it anyways, but just wanted to show you that we are gonna change that. And uh, you know, everything else looks pretty tidy underneath it. Here's another, another muffler, no holes in it or anything like that. And everything looks, looks good underneath here and uh, haven't seen any accident damage or anything you know no impacts or anything like that so um, underneath is is just real clean you can look at the floors get on this side and the frame rails and uh, look in nice shape so anyways if you guys got uh, questions uh, please you know just call me or email and uh, or go you know make the comments during bat would love to, to help you out and uh, have a good day